like to see so if everyone can make their way over to the performance area I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panelists <laughs> can come up with okay here we go the first subject is commercials that never made it to air what the <laughs> yeah mate I got some bad news about your dad <laughs> Want to save money on biscuits? Easy. Give blood. <laughs> uh, that one's accent is a bit more racist than that one's accent. There you go. Just compared the meerkats. <laughs> OK, the next topic is lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi movie. Uh, you've got to imagine this in a Scottish accent. <laughs> This is our Independence Day! There you go. <laughs> this is it. The machines are taking over. Hashtag apocalypse. <laughs> Phone home. Phone in Joan. No. Phone <laughs> home. Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. Welcome to Under-16's Badminton, where the players are still laughing at the word shuttlecock. <laughs> and Slippery Bastard is in first, of all arms and legs, second, belly flop boy coming on the inside, and yes, I have forgotten the swimmers' names and have resorted to funny nicknames. <laughs> and there's a streaker on the pitch. Two words. Hubba, hubba. <laughs> Topic is lines you wouldn't hear in a TV detective show. Of course, I dusted for Prince. I'm his cleaner, and he prefers to be known as the artist formerly known as Prince. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said it was a who done it? Yeah, we arrested Hugh Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely film trailers. If you see one film this year, then you're probably a new parent. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon, a 3D film where you don't get bored halfway through and lift up the glasses just to see what the screen looks like without it. <laughs> part man, part machine, part bird, part drum. It's Robo Bongo Cuckoo Cop. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't hear on the radio. Another shipping forecast issued by the Met Office at 2343 on Saturday the 8th. It's going to piss it down. <laughs> but you're dead. We're all dead. We've all been dead from the beginning. You've been listening to the final ever episode of The Archers. <laughs> Sometimes when you listen to the radio, there's a, there's a tune that you can't get out of your head. It just <laughs> plays again and again and again. <laughs> sort of gets faster and faster <laughs> and faster <laughs> and finally it comes on! <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a consumer programme. Mr Jones got a nasty rash from his new blanket. Good job he kept the receipt. Unfortunately, it doesn't cover as much as his body, it's not half as warm. <laughs> 
The next topic is lines you wouldn't hear in a kid's film. Hi, Harry Potter. It's me, your friend Ron Weasley. Don't I look a little bit like that James Acaster we saw on Mock the Week? Hey, here's a good idea. Let's go to all of his gigs and shout Ron Weasley at him in the audience because no one's ever done that before. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, we filmed the whole movie over Skype, which is why we called it Frozen. <laughs> Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. Apologies, after 15 years in this job, I've just been told it's not pronounced croquette. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to beach volleyball. The players are currently getting changed into their kits while their mums hold a towel up in front of them. <laughs> Oh, that pot was remarkable. But now I've got a major case of the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is unlikely things for a continuity announcer to say. No! Duh! This is bullshit! <laughs> Hate it when the eggheads win. <laughs> <laughs> that was mock the week. Wasn't it weird when one of them said the exact same thing I'm saying right now? Still, talented fella. <laughs> <laughs> now it's one of those X Factor episodes where they sing next to a swimming pool, I presume, to prepare them for a life singing on cruise ships. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely letters to TV channels. Dear Babe Station, when are you actually going to show the film Babe? <laughs> Dear CBeebies, I have three BBs, and my BBs love to watch CBeebies. <laughs> From their DD. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear in a blockbuster movie. We have to save the president. Or, depending on how the election goes, we have to save everybody from the president. <laughs> I will kill Bill. Or, de depending on what it goes by, Killiam William. <laughs> <laughs> the X stands for xylophone, and the xylophone men don't take shit from nobody. <laughs> Rejected exam questions. <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. God damn, I love these peaches. C. <laughs> <laughs> if the borrowers never returned anything they borrowed, why were they called the borrowers and not the thieving little bastards? <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. Goddamn, I love these peaches. So I can't do that. It doesn't make me laugh so much. I love Goddamn, I love these peaches so much. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is a famous market? <laughs> okay, the next topic is things you wouldn't hear on a train. Now an announcement for the people who insist on sitting the way the train is moving, because sitting backwards feels weird. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! Bah, I'm scared of tunnels. I'm so scared of tunnels. <laughs> Things you'd never read in the Bible. <laughs> and it had all been a dream. <laughs> Jesus handed out cans of Dr. Pepper and said, Drink this in remembrance of me. That's right, my full name is Dr. Jesus Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly of all, thou shalt not board the train until other people have alighted the train. <laughs> The animals came in two by two, for Twas Orange Wednesday. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Lines you wouldn't hear in a James Bond film. We've invented you a new phone bond. It's exactly the same as the old phone, but you need to buy a new charger. <laughs> 
So another gadget, Bond. Uh, this is a way of distracting your opponents. Some light-up trainers for no reason. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on Crime Watch. <laughs> if you have any information about this crime or any other crime, then keep your mouth shut, stitches, get stitches. Bra, bra, bra. <laughs> and now as a bit of fun, we go to the blooper reel. Give me all your honey, I mean money. <laughs> 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 The murderer said she did it because he made so many jokes about me on Mock the Week and I couldn't hack it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines from a fantasy film. Hufflepuff? Oh, great, I'm getting bullied. <laughs> <laughs> Tis I, Merlin, Grand Wizard and supplier of Premier League sticker albums. <laughs> Suzanne, a shiny! <laughs> I've been bitten by some radioactive cordroy. That means I'm going to become James Acaster Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually find the term unicorn quite offensive. We prefer skinny rhinoceri. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go in there. It's an absolute bloodbath. It's literally a lion in a wardrobe. I cannot emphasize that. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the point's gonna end here in days!